This is going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be very easy to get the next number. Remember I talked about looking at the 17 or the 13 and deciding where we might go this time? Let's try the 17. What do we know about 17? Well, it's a prime number. By the nature of the fact of it being prime, we know no two whole numbers multiply together to give us a 17. So this cannot be a multiplication problem. It also can't be a subtraction problem because we would have to subtract uh, something from something higher than 17. And we can't use an 18 in a 9 by 9 Ken Ken. It would have to be a very large Ken Ken. Um, so we know it's going to be uh, two numbers that add up to 17. And the only two numbers between 1 and 9 which add up to 17 are 8 and 9. Try it with any other numbers. It won't work. Well, now we know we've got two numbers in two boxes, and what does that tell us? The same thing it does in Sudoku. That means you must use the 8 and the 9 here, and that means you can't possibly use them over to the right of it. So we can get rid of these now. I hope you're using pencil. Oops, just the 8 and the 9. Okay, so that gives us something. And now we can also use the same principle to um, get the uh, numbers that we want to use for 13. The uh, 6 and 7, ah, that's wrong. Uh, let's make that a 7. The 7 goes there, and the 6 goes there. I know you can't read my handwriting, neither can I. I'm not doing it like this. I'm using the mouse. Well, I'm using a stylus to write. Um, so a 6 and a 7 could give us 13. An 8 and a 5 can give us 13. And a 9 and a 4 can give us 13. <clears throat> there are no other combinations that can give us 13, so we can rule out a 1, 2, or 3 in here. Now, if there were other numbers over here, we couldn't uh, get rid of any of them uh, just because we know about, whoops, I forgot the 9, about these, because there's more than two digits in two boxes, so we can't use this as a process of elimination yet. Okay, where else can we go with this? Well, uh, let's go there in the next video um, because we, we're we going to try to keep these videos uh, pretty short each time and only do enough that you can really digest this in one short time and also make them short enough to be on YouTube. So, um, next time we can look at the 18, but I'd find this place the most interesting to look at next time. I really like this 315. Maybe you can see why. Okay, see you next time.